Okay, we are gonna create one quartzing wall. We can create it in another ways, but one of the ways is creating a wall. Okay, we go for properties and we will select quartzing wall. Okay, this quartzing wall, we will edit the type as always, duplicate. Um, I'm gonna call it building construction component. Okay. Okay, and we have to define the elements of the courting wall. First of all, we have to define if we, um, yep, as I was saying, the vertical grid and the horizontal grid. We have to decide if we have all over or if we have only one kind of grid. Okay, so we have, let's say, three types of, we have more, but three main types of courting wall, one with vertical mediums, one with horizontal, one without it. Also, we can have with both kind of them, okay? With vertical and horizontal. So from my point of view, we are gonna create one that it has both vertical and horizontal, okay? So you have four types of defining the grid. A fixed distance, so let's say that it's gonna be every one meter and a half. So it will make one meter and a half until it reach the end. When it reach the end, it will provide whatever is left. Okay, so you, all of them will be the same, but the last one, that it will be whatever it lasts. Fixed number it will take the whole distance of the wall and it will divide it into the number that you give, you gave, okay? Minimum spacing, it will divide the space that you have and it will create a number of, of divisions with a minimum of that number. Usually the more approximate to that number, but minimum that number, okay? Maximum, the opposite. It will divide it into the number that you have and it will adjust it to be maximum the number that you set. So let's go for fixed distance, for example. Vertical, and we can leave it in 1.5. And we can go for horizontal and create it, for example, maximum spacing of Two meters so we have three meters it will go for two divisions of 1.5 if we have four it will go for two divisions of two meters if we have 4.5 it will go for three divisions because the maximum is two if we do it minimum two it will make the opposite. It will make two divisions of two meters and something. Okay, so maximum space in two. Interior, uh, that, sorry, yeah, that was vertical and horizontal. Now we have the mulliums. As I said that my vertical grid is gonna be the most important. I'm gonna create the vertical grid with a big mulliam. Have, here I have only two types. Hmm. I should load more of them. But okay, now I'm gonna use the rectangular volume one for all of them. And then we'll go and load more type of volumes. Okay, so we have the volumes here. Okay, as you can see, let's go, I created that. Okay, as we can see, we don't see the courting wall. And we will go for properties, edit, as we said in the other video. I will activate the courting wall. Apply, it will appear all the courting walls that we have done. 
okay we can select them um, change the floors when where they go from they can go from the base wall uh, sorry this is the top from the base wall until the parapet so we can adjust it what we see is a curtain wall with vertical and horizontal volumes okay the vertical are continuous and the horizontal are stopped you see them if we select the wall and we edit it okay so here we can set which one it's the continuous one we can set vertical so the vertical will be continuous horizontal and we can go for border and horizontal or vertical continuous usually what i use is border continuous and then one of the axes I usually use vertical, but it's depending on your project. So I said vertical and border. If you see, the border will be continuous and also the vertical ones. Okay. Once we have done it, we can change the elements. We can select with the tab the whole line and we can change if we need it. We can. So we have to unpin it so it's like the block in the plant and we can change that one what we have done first is the standard and now in my elevation i can move it okay i need that this one that the lower one so i come here press tab until i select the whole line this line i need it 2.1 to have my wall uh, to have my door so i will unpin it come here 2.1 so i will have 2.1 so i can place my door and my door it's let's say 2.1.8 it's okay 2.1 1.2 so i will create it 1.2 and i have my door I want to select my panel. I come over, select tab until I select the panel. I select it. And I can change it for empty. That is, you have nothing, so you will have only the volumes. Or I can create a wall. I can use a solid panel that is not glass. Or a type of wall so I can create a type of wall <coughs> that has metal cladding a metal layer insulation a metal and this could be my finishing panel for the curtain wall so I can create a panel that I made it myself to adjust it on the curtain wall okay and it will appear like a wall I will adjust it, select it, and I can use it as parts of my curtain wall will be glass, parts of my curtain wall will be metal cladding. Okay, metal panels. I can also insert a door. If I want to insert a door, I have to go escape first and load the door. I will go for load family, doors, and I will look for a curtain wall door. Okay, I'm gonna use the storefront one or the glass one. Okay, whatever you like. Let's go for the glass, total glass. I select it. So I'm loading it into the project. Now I will select my panel using the tab, select it, and now I can the door hmm? well, it should be there I think it's not showing again so we will have to go for the properties again 
of the visibility. <coughs> and go for the doors and apply. So now we have the door. This door don't have the mullion. We select it and pin it and delete. And our door will be there. So basically, a curtain wall, we can create it as a wall, but we have to modify parameters that are a bit different from the other ones. Okay, we just place it and we.